Hey, I'm Jacob Soberoff. Welcome to our series, Investigate Fortitude, where we dive deeper into the science behind the show Fortitude on Pivot. I'm joined again by our friends from EcoHealth Alliance, and tonight we're going to be discussing the effects of humans' environmental impact. Gentlemen, thank you so much for joining me. I want to start off by watching this clip with Dan, Hilder, Natalie, and Vincent. They're all discussing the toxins that might be behind the murders. Here it is. PFAs were present in Shirley Allardyce, around 70 parts per million. You think that's what caused Shirley to attack her mother? We're seeing a pattern. Well, it's beginnings of a pattern. Well, the, these toxins are present in the brains of both the bear and Shirley. It's more than just a coincidence. So the theory we just saw proposes that basically environmental changes are leading to toxins that then affect the behavior of human beings and of animals. This blows my mind, it's very fascinating. Have we ever seen a situation like this in the real world? Does this exist? It's a fairly new and increasing situation in people. There have been studies that show an increasing reduction in fertility in men in different populations, and they think it's due to exposure to these molecules, these toxins that mimic estrogen. So we're actually seeing a decrease in, in masculinity, a decrease in fertility, uh, and, and this is a fairly new syndrome that's occurring, or at least that's magnifying in places that are highly industrialized like the United States. And so I, I also know that we've seen this in, in bats and in, uh, in sea turtles as well. Is, is that right? Yeah, so sea turtles, are, we're finding these tumors. Uh, populations have large, high percentage of these tumors that grow all over their uh, skin. And we think that is linked potentially to toxins in the environment, to also potentially viruses and other pathogens that are causing these tumors. And bats, there's a number of diseases that bats are affected by as well. I mean, we're profoundly changing the environment from any other species that's ever lived. We're changing the climate. We're affecting pretty much every corner of the earth in some way or another. It's a upward trend of emerging diseases around the world. And, and that's think. because of the, just the interconnectivity of today's modern world, globalization. It's because there are more of us doing more things on the planet, making bad contact with wildlife, eating wildlife, chopping down forests, traveling around the world. We're putting ourselves at supreme risk for emerging diseases and every year it gets worse and worse. We've done the math on it, it's real. Amazingly, we, we don't even have to travel to places to have impact. So going back to toxins in the environment, studies in the Arctic Circle have found that many of these toxic compounds we were talking about earlier have drifted up on air currents from industrialized areas like Europe or the United States. They get onto the soil and substrate and they get taken up by animals. Herbivores or top carnivores like polar bears have the highest concentration of these endocrine disruptors or these organic toxins in their body. And so this is all from a distance. So we impact through travel, and we impact without even going to a place. Well, gentlemen, thank you so much for joining me again. Thank Great. you. Thank you. You can join the conversation on Twitter about tonight's episode using hashtag Fortitude. And to learn more and to take part in the solutions around these issues, go to investigatefortitude.com. We are posting actions, more videos, and articles about all these topics. Really big thank you again to Eco Health Alliance. And be sure to watch Fortitude on Pivot with new episodes every Thursday at 10 p.m.